me show y'all a little something about appearance. Because uh, I was just talking to a guy earlier today about, you know, him going to court today. And uh, he was speaking about, uh, you know, him having to go to court or whatever. And he was, I try to talk to guys about to help, help y'all understand that physically walking into a courtroom is not the only way to actually appear. Um, you know, because a lot of people are scared to actually not go to court, not actually physically go there. <clears throat> and there more than there's more than one way to uh, to actually to do an appearance, okay? And so we're gonna go over that real quick. I got something to do, so I'm gonna try to make this quick, okay? Okay. A party enters in uh, enters an appearance when um when they show up to court in response to uh, to a service of process. Appearance it, it isn't only uh, a reference to physical presence in court when required, but also to uh, to procedural compliance. See, filing an answer, participating in discovery. You see that for yourself, okay? You don't have to physically be in the building. You can file an you can file an answer. That is an appearance. Participating in discovery. This, those are examples uh, of an appearance, okay? Typically, making an appearance making uh, uh, means that you consent to the court's uh, the, the court's exercise of the personal jurisdiction over you. See, making an appearance <clears throat> makes a uh, this means that you consent to the okay. It's personal. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. And you therefore waive your right to challenge it later. This type of appearance is known as a general appearance. Okay, that's when you just walk up in there. They're just gonna start adjudicating. Okay. They, you, you're automatically in your commercial capacity and you don't even know it. Keep in mind the straw man, the ends legis is used, it is used for commercial purposes only, okay? That's what it's for. It's for commercial purposes. All crimes are commercial, okay? So regardless of what they got you in, we got that name on that document for, it's for commercial purposes, okay? General appearance. Yeah, they just described to you what it is, okay? Failure to appear after being served um, <clears throat> will result in default judgment against the party who failed to appear. Okay, that's what y'all. That's what y'all have to understand. Uh, when you, <clears throat> when you, when there's a court hearing and you don't go back up here, file an answer, or you don't physically go up in there, it's fair. Then you it results in failure to appear after being served. You know what I'm saying? Knowing you suppose, knowing there's supposed to be some type of something filed in that court case so you're asking you got to do one or the other file something in the court case or physically go in there okay so you can still stay your ass at home and just still appear perform an appearance by simply filing an answer understand that y'all i was gonna go to black's law dictionary and bouvier's uh, uh law dictionary to show y'all definition of appearance but i think uh um you know Cornell Law pretty much did it for me right now. It did everything I needed to do right here. So I'm gonna make this pretty quick. So this is I just this is doing this is doing exactly what I needed to do. It's falling right in place. Failure to appear again. Failure to appear after being served will result in default judgment against the party who failed to appear. If a party does not <clears throat> does not believe the court can exercise personal jurisdiction over them. But uh, but does not want the, uh, to risk the possibility of judgment, nor the risk of lo of losing an, uh, an otherwise valid lack of personal jurisdiction defense. They can enter a special appearance for ex for exclusive uh, purpose of determining the jurisdiction. That's how you're gonna do challenge jurisdiction with a special appearance filing. You could file a, you could you could file that in a court case. A special appearance. Oh, you don't have to physically go in there. But you can file a special appearance into your court case in order to challenge the jurisdiction. You don't walk in the building talking about I'm here to challenge jurisdiction. That's why they railroad people. Trust me, it's happened to me before. <laughs> so they will try to enter in. They'll try to practice law again, you know, uh, uh, from the bench. They do that. It's, they ain't supposed to do it, but they'll do, they'll do it. They can get away with it. Uh, enter in a, a plea on your behalf and all this old different, you know, railroading stuff that they do in there. Uh, that's why I had to learn to stay my black ass out of there. So you learn to file something in the court case, <laughs> file something in that case, and you can stay your ass at home. You ain't got to be up in there. 
Let them deal with that because you in your private capacity, you ain't got no business operating helping them do their job and you in your private capacity. When you walk in that building, you automatically and you're they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna proceed to um they're gonna move forward as if you're in your commercial capacity. So <clears throat> unless you got a special appearance filed in there, you can file it if you want to file something like this in your court case and then you show up, but you need to stand on your paperwork and that's it. Stand on that if you're gonna show up in there. But this you this need to be in there. Special appearance. See for exclusive purpose of determining the jurisdiction in federal court. There is no longer a distinction between uh, general and special appearance. However, this code right here, uh, most people know that Federal Rule of Civil Procedure, uh, Rule 12B2, say motion allows a, a, part, a party to accomplish the same thing um, a special appearance would. So you could do that in a civil case using this here, you know, with a motion, of, co of course. But the thing is, I just want to stick to the stick to what when we talking about spe specifically appearance on this video. Say so a party can make a, an appearance either in person or virtually, although the availability of the of, of these de uh, depend on the, uh, spe the, spe the specific court and specific issue. So understand, y'all. Learn the law. Don't be so quick to run your ass up in there thinking if you don't go there, you're gonna go. You're gonna get a, a, a warrant out for your arrest for failure to appear. Failure to appear is because you you know either you physically didn't go in there or you didn't file anything into the court case. You gotta file something in the case if you're not gonna be there. Okay? I don't like doing I don't like wrestling with them doing doing having these uh word magic games they have up in there when they know that you're you you're, you're exercising what you know about the the terminology. You know the language is different from regular regular English and they're using legalese and you don't know the language that well, then why would you be in there trying to have a, a tongue wrestling match with them knowing they're playing games with you? I'd rather not be there. So I do, I'd rather do a special appearance, file an answer into the court case and I stay at home. I don't be up in there. So when you learn how to master doing this here, you ain't got to worry about that, okay? So understand what appearance is, study this out, do what you can, do what you, what you please to do with this information, but study it for your understanding and then move accordingly. All right, Emrose signing out.